welcome back to Wild Love an Adventure where you're probably wondering where we're at right now. And that's okay. I wonder where we're at 90% of the time too. But no, we're back because we have to go do something real quick. And that is to meet the dude that got his pretty much crushed. Most likely. Having the power of Icon will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric traffic. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I can't help it, you're not getting anything. More than likely, I'm probably giving everything to the survivors. That's okay. I'm sure you guys will be fine. You're a trained professional. Is he dead? Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he alive? Is he... Dying? How's he doing? I thought he was already dead. husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage. And instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Yeah, this won't be a bad idea. It wasn't that our fault. Oh, Valador, isn't that the one mill we blew up? Hey, have you seen the quarter after anywhere? Oh, get out of here. I hate this place. Are you peacekeepers? Answer me! Well, at least we're not the one that beat him up. Until today. And so, got him? They got away. But I don't think those were ready. I can't find it. It's somewhere in here. We will not be a bag of lazy, bad parasites. Our renegade goes to the dark. 
dogs off. Keep watch, don't talk. Fine, doesn't matter. I hope Peter survives. He's one of our most dedicated men. down. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. There'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? No. For the first time, no. we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. 
just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, what does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers when they could be helping people. Then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. Worth less, far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So, you are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb, despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Like small, small petals heal, big ones poison. Small. Or remember, yeah, small. we'll no, regret this, poison. I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao. Oh, I got it. Could be a hideout. Oh, there's one. Right there. Alright, we'll just get as close as we can. Yeah. <laughs> 
time for you. Don't worry about it. I'm not here. Small petals, small petals, small petals, small petals heal, small petals heal, small petals heal, and God, why do you find everything? might die. If I'm being perfectly honest, he might die.
major problem. He might die. Let's just say he might die. That's okay, though. I didn't jump in a coma. I think the poor guy's not gonna make it. It's a little hard to dictate what, the, what small and big are when they all look the same. I don't like it, but I gotta play the same. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Uh, superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from him! I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! <sighs> How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. I could tell you now who did it to him. But okay. What you looking at? Get moving. Fight me. What can I reel in for you? X marks oh. the spot. I'm dying. What a catch. Hmm. Eight thousand or more. You're firing all tubes. Enjoy your treasure. <laughs> Let's see how close we can get to the cathedral. Oh, that's like quite literally all the way over there. Oops. Get to the Renegade area, we could die. Aiden. Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aiden's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. 
or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Villador. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Yeah, it's definitely gonna get us into trouble, but it's okay. We shouldn't get into too much trouble, right? What, is it up or down? This is a bad idea. Why? Because it's at level 5 to 6 and level 4. Find that. You can do it.
Vuelve. This one's clearly up there. That one's not too bad then. I'm tired of night time. Please, take this for saving me. Thank you.
hunt this again. I just got to figure out how to control the cathedral. Delightful. Welcome, stranger. What? This is where your journey ends. Many have come here. None have left alive. Sometimes, I wonder what you feel. Primitive beings, thieves, overcome with greed. Surrounded by wonders you cannot comprehend. And then, I get bored of wondering, and just kill you. What the fuck happened here? Uh, uh... Hey! You there? My name's Aiden. I just want to talk. I don't think he's gonna want to talk. Zombies here, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
when you know you hit that spot. This is a fail site. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Away from the door, dude. Away from the door. Leto takes no prisoners. Prepare to die, lowly piece of trash. <laughs> going on here? Why didn't you close the door? That's what I want to know. Curious. Like a beetle, ignorant of the foot above. Yeah, I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. No, I don't Because it will do. be your final resting place. Right. Oh, great. Hmm. The cables. I've got to find a source of power.
I'm gonna have to up here, so we're done coming back. I need your help! You broke into my home! Shut you up, killed Leto! What else do you want? You nutcase! Why must you bother me? Leave me alone, you hear? Why are we even bothering Winter? I thought we were supposed to bug this place. Why do we care about this person? <laughs> Please, thank you. Come off it.
Wow, Aiden. Wait! Again, why are we bothering? If he doesn't want to help. Of course, you turn your back again on him. Go on. Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. Who? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No. Do you want me to be? I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? So, um, who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina dentata. A vagina with fangs. Uh, Wait, what? Okay. A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? I see. Uh, maybe what I can you do? help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto. She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Oh my God, right. Please you don't. mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements. So look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And, uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, now I gotta do more stuff. Hey, what is this place, anyway? The biggest church in the country. It was believed that a god lived inside. But I've been sitting here for almost ten years and haven't met one yet. What in the world, man? Come on, pet. Up there. Okay, he doesn't want to grab that ledge, so... Oh, he wants to come out here to do it. This place is huge. Well, those who built it believed that this way they would get closer to God. But when the epidemic came, it didn't help anyone. Why did you murder those peacekeepers? I didn't murder anyone. I defended myself against people who wanted to rob me. Wouldn't you do the same if strangers broke into your home? I don't know. I never had a home. <laughs> wow. For reals? You don't want to 
grab onto that. This is a hell of a hard climb. A marvel, isn't it? A miracle yeah. of architecture. The pinnacle of human achievement. Our ancestors' crowning glory. And today, we just climb it like monkeys. Really, I'm all the way back down here? Got it. Well done. I can see it's hard to discourage you. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so what's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer in a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is, I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored, I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. Hmm. One, success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how unreal this guy is. I told you he was just this side of batshit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Ooh. Morning, Pilgrim. Hey, so there's this thing.
dude's still trying to say he's innocent. Should we do something about that? Maybe that's the side quest. Hmm. You're back. Yes. There. All fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like, uh, uh pellets, buckshot. Oh. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Beluga? Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things. Beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. Oh. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? No. That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Hey, Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Go to Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. <laughs> Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Wait for my call. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Now we're fine, right? Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Nothing could go wrong, right? Right. <laughs> 